Hello and welcome to another video in the lecture series entitled Advanced Biomaterial. So in today's session, we will be looking at some of the preparation techniques of lipid nanoparticles. So in one of our previous videos, we had seen about lipid nanoparticles. We had also seen about liposomes. So lipid nanoparticles and liposomes are nanoparticles which are made up of lipidic materials and these can be used for different uh, therapeutic and drug delivery applications. So we, today we will be looking at two of the most commonly used preparation techniques of lipid nanoparticles. Now there are different types of preparation techniques of lipid nanoparticles which vary based on their principles, their starting materials and the uh, characteristics of the final product which is obtained. So today we will be looking at two of the most commonly used ones. So the first one which we will be discussing today is emulsion based technique for the preparation of lipid nanoparticles. So the first technique is emulsion based technique. preparation of lipid nanoparticles. So what is this emulsion based technique? So essentially in this technique we use a liquid or a lipid phase which contains a drug or the drug molecule which is to be delivered into the system. So if we represent it simply, so this will be a lipidic phase which will contain the drug molecule of our interest. This lipid, lip, lipid phase can be actually the lipids which can be dissolved in certain organic solvents or in other ways based on the suitability of the fabrication technique these lipids can be molten, these lipids can be in solution form in different types of solvents. So this lipid phase will be the phase which will contain the drug molecule which we want to load in our lipid based nanoparticles. Lipid nanoparticles. So in this we will be adding another phase which would be an aqueous phase. So this aqueous phase will be added to this liquid lipid phase. Now when these two phases will be mixed, we will get what is known we will get what is known as an oil in water emulsion Now, this oil in water emulsions are obtained when two, when an aqueous phase and a lipidic phase and a non-aqueous phases are mixed or are agitated together. So mixing implies, so mixing can be performed in different ways. It can be done using a magnetic shaker, uh, it can be done using a stirrer, many different ways this mixing can be achieved. So now, this will be subjected, this suspension or this uh, emulsion will be subjected to mechanical stresses in the form of ultrasonication or high pressure homogenization. So in both these techniques external energy is added. So in ultrasonication it is added in the form of ultrasonic waves or in high pressure homogenization uh, mechanical energy is added to cause the disruption of these uh, or the uh, breaking of these mini of these emulsions in oily water emulsions into very small, uh, very small uh, suspensions. Now, what will be obtained after performing this ultrasonication or this high pressure homogenization will be a suspension. Containing a colloidal emulsion with small particle sizes.
So this will be a colloidal emulsion. Now, the final step will be after cooling of this colloidal emulsion, this lipid nanoparticles will undergo precipitation to give our final lipid nanoparticles. So, this emulsion, the particles present in this emulsion will undergo precipitation. to give rise to our lipid nanoparticles. So these lipid nanoparticles can be again be made into a suspension form and used and stored and used. So lipid nanoparticles. So this was the process of immersion based techniques for the preparation or for the synthesis of lipid nanoparticles. So there is a modification or another type of immersion based techniques which we will be looking next. So this method is double immersion. So now the advantage of this immersion based technique is that uh, it uses very few reaction steps and very few reagents and also the drug loading efficiency in this case is simple yet very effective. So in many such uh, preparation strategies, uh, variations or modifications of these immersion based techniques are widely used for the preparation of different types of lipid based nanoparticles. Now we will be looking at another technique which is similar to this one, which is known as the double emulsion method. So, in the process of double emulsion method, just like the emulsion based technique, there will be an organic phase, lipidic phase, which will be containing the lipids, which will be dissolved in an organic solvent, such as chloroform, uh, hexane or any other organic solvent. So this will be the lipid phase. Where the lipid will be dissolved in an organic solvent. Now, with this lipid phase, the drug solution will be separately added, which will be in the aqueous phase. So the drug solution which is to be added will be in the aqueous phase. Now again, this mixture will then be agitated. rise to what is known as primary oil in water emulsion. we can see that on adding aqueous phase to a lipidic phase, we will get what is known as a water in oil or oil in water emulsion. 
so water in oil emulsion. Then we will add what is known as okay, so we will add uh, another secondary aqueous phase. So this will be a secondary aqueous phase. which will contain polymers or surfactant solutions in an aqueous phase. So the secondary aqueous phase which will be added to the primary oily water emulsion will contain a surfactant or a polymer solution which will be in this aqueous phase. So polymer or surfactant. primary oil in water emulsion if you are adding another aqueous phase we will get a double emulsion or what in this case will be known as a water in oil in water emulsion or a double emulsion. Now the final step will be again be the same. So this after cooling and will undergo precipitation to give rise to our lipid nanoparticle. These lipid nanoparticles can be processed in different ways. Uh, they can be frozen, they can be freeze dried, they can be stored, they can be made into a suspension. So now these after cooling and precipitation, we will finally get our lipid nanoparticles. So hence we have seen two very simple yet convenient methods for preparation of lipid nanoparticles. These lipid nanoparticles can be used, can be loaded with drugs for different therapeutic applications. So we have seen how these lipid nanoparticles can be loaded with drugs or genes for different types of therapeutic interventions. Most frequently the COVID-19 vaccines for the delivering the target mRNA can be prepared using such lipid nanoparticles or liposomes in different applications. So with this we'll end today's video. So in subsequent videos, We'll be looking at other related topics and other newer characterization methods or uh, newer constructs we're using different types of uh, advanced types of biomaterials. So hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next video. Thank you.